Hi, this is attorney Roy Oppenheim from The Trenches. We just did a blog on how the coronavirus is going to create uh, lots of new legal questions for all of us, questions that some of us have never even addressed before uh, because we're dealing with issues that really are almost of a combination of, of, of a 9-11, the Great Recession, the Great Foreclosure Crisis, with an overlay possibly of, of what happened uh, during 1918-1919 during the, uh, the Spanish flu pandemic in the United States. The good news is that we're, we're starting to hear that, that the virus actually does not like warm weather, that it, it actually, uh, uh, at, at around 80 or 85 or 86 degrees, uh, will not be able to survive. And so we expect actually, uh, certainly over the, over the next several months, that people will find Florida to be a very attractive place to, uh, to spend the winters. I mean, it's, 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 it's not a, a surprise that for almost 100 years people have been coming to Florida during the winter. Uh, in order to get out of the cold, but they were also coming down because it was healthier and they could escape the normal uh, flu or, or, or virus. And while this is not a normal flu and it's not a normal virus, uh, it has some of the, the characteristics of a, of, of a normal virus. And so being down here will certainly be better. But we're going to have lots and lots of le legal issues. And I want to just throw some out at you for you to consider what we're dealing with. In some cases, we're going to have nursing homes that are going to get sued because they, did, they didn't take proper precautions, obviously. And we've had that before during a hurricane when they didn't remove people in time. We'll see that again. We're going to see cruise lines that didn't properly take proper precautions in terms of maintaining their facilities. You have this cruise line now in, 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 in California uh, that had someone that had the virus on the ship on the previous cruise. And so they knew this, the, the virus was in the system, in, in the AC system, and they did not take proper precautions. And now you have all these people that are literally stranded, and, and they are, are, are almost prisoners. They're, 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 it's, it's a form of false imprisonment, actually. And so you're going to have all kinds of, of crazy issues. Uh, we're going to have people who are going to want to get their money back from cruise lines uh, because uh, it's no longer safe. And you're going to have people who have insurance claims with third-party insurers to ensure that they can get their money back. If they don't file those policies correctly, they won't get their money back. You're going to have cancellations for major conferences. The Ultra Conference here in Miami has just been canceled. Who's going to pay for the tickets? Who's going to get paid back You know, if you were going to rent a booth or if you, or if you were a performer and you had a contract? I mean, the issues go on and on. And so those are the kinds of things we're going to be dealing with. Of course, you're also going to be dealing with the questions of refinancing your mortgage. And right now, you have the lowest interest rates in the history of the United States. You're going to be talking about uh, possible bankruptcies for small and mid-sized businesses that, that generally get their supplies and, and goods from China and they can't do it now they have nothing to sell or you or you have a business that's relying on tourism uh, or the cruise industry and and and, and you're not uh, getting the business you may be an uber or a Lyft driver and and your and your income is dropping there are going to be lots and lots of issues and ultimately yes there will be an increase in foreclosures again and why because this is a cycle it's a cycle that go that we go through every 10, 12, 15 years. But this cycle is going to be a weird one because it's not just the slowing of the economy. It's a slowing of the economy with a health overlay. And so that health overlay it, and that scare overlay is going to slow down the, the, the economy. It's going to slow down because consumers are going to slow it down as well as, as shippers and, 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 and component part manufacturers in, in China. So it isn't just like last time where the banks were the, were the prime villain and they of course stopped lending because uh, the economy seized up. In this particular case, the entire economy is seizing up because it's happening from so many different, different angles. We're here, we think about this, we read about it, we talk about it, we blog about it, and we can help you navigate these waters. Roy Oppenheim from the trenches. Look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.